Like my main focus right now is just healing my relationship with food. And I feel like I'm at a point where I actually feel very comfortable with eating untracked foods. <laughs> 120. <laughs> Um, so we're working legs today, as always. <laughs> we only ever work out legs together. <laughs> Every day, leg day. Leg day. What do you mean? Oh, flex. Oh, that looks good. I dimmed it. I don't know why I'm smiling. Look. <laughs> 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 See, this is my favorite one. I'm going to include that in, of course. One. <laughs> Has pre-workout kicked in yet? Yes. Has it? Ish. <laughs> so excited for today. Woo! I what we're doing. What are we Legs, doing? glutes, pretty much glute focus. We're doing hip thrust, our favorite. Um, RDLs, like press, lunges, and curl phrases. And out, Amazing. And back. Everything. <laughs> Let's show people how to warm up. Never forget to stretch. This is how it's done. <laughs> show them how it's done, Nina. Explain what you're doing. <laughs> Grab your foot. Wow, <laughs> amazing work. Stop. Oh, I'm a teacher in the making. <laughs> I'm a coach now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> We're not even up to the working out. No, but Julia, this is. <laughs> We're only getting ready. <laughs> yeah, this is called the froggy one. I don't actually know what it's called. I just feel like it's wrong. Right? Oh, she left me alone with the camera. I feel it in silence. Um, hello, welcome to Jill's, Jill's channel. She left. I don't know what else to say. Vulgar. Let's go, Jill. Woo, she can't even hear me. She will hear me in this video. I am cheering. Yes. 120. How many reps she doing? I thought she was warming up. Why is she doing so many? This must be heavy. She's killing it though. Woo! Girl, you did so many reps again. You're supposed to be warming up. struggle of being strong, you know? You have to put all of it away. Look at all our mess. Yes. Yes. <laughs> because the other one broke. Literally, it stopped working like a few weeks ago. And look how nice it is. Ta-da! It's very nice. It's matte black. It's beautiful. So the freezer is down there and then the fridge up there. Um, and I'm going to show you guys something. Ooh, I got something for my birthday. My birthday's been like a couple weeks now. But I want to show you guys because I think it's exciting. Why am I blurry? It's so pretty. Like, I don't even want to eat it. It's just so nice to look at. We've got red velvet there, Oreo, some form of chocolate, I don't know. <laughs> and this one might be like salted caramel or something. I'm just going to have to do a taste test. I think I'm going to try this one today. I don't know if I should heat it up or have it cold. I don't know. How do you usually eat cupcakes? No, muffin. I think this is a muffin. No, cupcake. It's a cupcake. Because... It says cupcake queen, so I think I'm assuming it's a cupcake. Ooh, there's stuffing in the middle. Look. Mmm. Wait a minute. Vanilla? <laughs> um, this is good. Mmm. 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 The icing. Yum. I, I wish I could share some with you guys, but sorry, it's all mine, I guess. 
I still can't figure out what flavour this is. All I know is it tastes good. Mm. I just wanted to have like a quick chat. I am so proud of how far I've come, I guess, in terms of my relationship with food. It's crazy because I actually haven't been tracking at all for the past two months. I have not been on my fitness pal in two months. I feel like I I was so focused on, you know, calories and macronutrients for so long. It's kind of a nice change to not be so strict, I guess, with what it is I'm eating. I've been eating intuitively and just making sure that I'm getting a lot of protein in throughout the day. Like I kind of have an idea of how much protein is in certain things I'm eating. Like let's say I have protein powder that's like, I don't know, 25 grams of protein. If I have eggs, you know, certain meats, like honestly, uh, uh, pardon me. Like my main focus right now is just healing my relationship with food. And I feel like I'm at a point where I actually feel very comfortable with eating untracked foods. And I didn't think I'd get to this place that early on, I guess, in this little journey of mine. Because I would say the first month of me not tracking my food, I was experiencing a lot of anxiety in terms of not being able to know how much calories was in a serving of a dish. It's freaking crazy. And like now I'm not thinking so much. I wouldn't say it's completely gone. Like, you know, that those thoughts are completely gone. But I'm at a better place now in terms of eating untracked foods. Yeah. I, I just feel like I just wanted to say that to you guys. Like I actually haven't really talked about what it is I'm currently doing in terms of like nutrition. But as of right now, I'm just focusing on eating, you know, nutritious foods while allow allowing myself to eat, you know, other foods like this cupcake you know but yeah i feel like i just want to keep eating foods that make me feel good you know fuel my body with the right nutrients and you know eat enough protein have my carbs have my fats and have just like a good balance i guess of everything in terms of healthy foods and you know not so healthy foods <laughs> like i don't want to label good and bad foods but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. But yeah, that's that's the goal, I guess, currently with my whole nutrition, you know? Maybe there'll be a time where I'll start tracking again, but for now, I feel very comfortable with what it is I'm doing, which is just focusing on getting enough protein and, you know, eating kind of whatever, to be honest. And it feels good. I feel so good about it. Yeah, I just want to say, like, I feel like you can still very much make progress at the gym or whatever. Um, whatever your goal is eating intuitively you know you don't need to actually count calories to see results you know just eating mindfully I feel like goes a long way you know uh, yeah if you're someone that's struggling right now with food um, take it day by day honestly that's what I had to do <laughs> um, yeah to just keep reassuring yourself that what you're doing is, is right for you I don't want it to be a, such a long topic of this video, but yeah, I just thought I'd include this in. <laughs> so for dinner, I ate with my family at a Filipino restaurant and we had some bungalow sisig, so good. It was my favorite dish for the night. And then that dinner go on, which is pork stew, something like that. <laughs> and then we had some lechon, which is also some more pork. Um, mm, Phillies are obsessed with their pork, <laughs> let me tell you that. And that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you. I love you guys. Bye.